Hello everybody, Wimmer here. Uh, got back from antiquing with a friend. Well, with friends, it is very hot out. It's 93 with a uh, 100 degree heat index right now. So my AC is deciding to act up and uh, I guess I have to have a big fan on in the background. So that's what that'll be. But anyway, I uh, got back from antiquing and uh, bought quite a few things. First up, we have uh, Ron Hornaday truck that I bought a few weeks ago that I just now got. Here's the truck itself. Very beautiful truck. That'll be sitting on my shelf for a while until I figure out what to do with it. Uh, the Georgia Boot one is oh, the Georgia Boot one is probably one of the harder ones to find. I mean, all of those trucks are hard to find. But, um, this one is 726. Uh, this was a 20 2009. Wow. Show my age is 11 years old already. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, that's the first one. The hood opens on that, which is uh, a rarity. You don't see that anymore. There's a bit of weight on it, and it is about the same as the regular release. It was just in the Gold Series box. So, on to the antiquing ads. Um, found this Dale Jr. Oops, this Dale Jr. Chicago ARC 124 for $30. Or, yeah, 30 bucks, and uh, it doesn't have the box with it, which I, which would be a problem usually. But with a car this rare, it uh, doesn't really doesn't really matter. I mean, it does, but I'll still make money off of it if I decide to sell it, which I probably will at some point. And then later on, I also found this uh, this prototype uh, Tabodine autograph Tabasco Elite. So that was pretty cool. This is my third elite, uh, sorry, my third prototype in my collection. I also have Eric Jones Bristol Race Win and the David Pearson Hall of Fame prototype. Uh, they didn't have DINs back then, so you won't find a DIN on that one. So anyway, 164s. I found this Jeff Gordon Baby Ruth Rookie 164 for a buck. Found this John Wood 2007 Air Force Ford for two bucks. Found a Bob Hill Advance Auto Arca 164 for a dollar. These were made by American. You know, these are made by Lindbergh, and they are basically knockoff racing champions molds. They also had a Chrysler mold. I believe they made it out of the Ford. I think they just added grills to it. I don't have a Chrysler, so I do have that Bob Hill loose, but it's beat up. Also found this for a dollar, a 2001 Bill Elliott official fan. I think it's 01. No, no it's 02. But yeah, I, I have this one as well, but uh, finding it in the package is different. I also found one, two, and three of the five. Days of Thunder 164s. We found the Mellow Yellow Superflow and Hardys. We just don't have the Exxon or City Chevrolet. Now, the Days of Thunder ones are interesting because two companies made them. These ones that I bought are Matchbox, and they are the second run. The first run of these... Uh, hang on, I'll use this one. The first one of these had the door molds still on them. The second run did not. They mass produced the crap out of these. That's why I was able to get them so cheap. Also found Dirt to Daytona for five bucks. Well, my friend did, and then he decided not to pick it up for whatever reason. And finally, we have from 2006 a program from one of the races my family went to. So that's pretty neat. And those are my pickups. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you later.